how to DJ with your Apple Music library. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm gonna show you how. A lot of my videos, I teach you guys how to DJ with the various streaming services that are integrated in DJ Pro, such as Tidal and Beatport. But in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get your libraries ready if you plan on not using streaming services. So it's a good idea to have music that is that does not require internet or streaming services to use, because that's the thing a lot of my a lot of people have been asking me is there a way to save your music from Tidal or save your music from Beatport uh, offline so you could play it later? Like Spotify has this feature for, but you can only use it in the Spotify app. You can't use it to DJ with. And Beatport and BeatSource, they do have something, but it's a lot of money and you only get to store like 50 songs or 100 songs, so it's really not worth it. So I'm going to show you guys some ways that you could build pretty good libraries for a decent price and have it saved in your Apple Music. So now to access the music in Apple Music on the device that you're DJing with, you open the, the library music menu over here, and then you go up here. Up here is my collection. Those are the playlists that you made in the app. So what we're gonna do is go over here to music. So now this is your Apple Music. Any music that you have on your phone or iPad that you plan on DJing with will instantly be available in this area. So what you do is say you have songs that, that you listen to, you just gotten into DJing and you're using this device and you got these songs, you could go over here, 90s music, and then you could add them to the playlist. So you could add it to the playlist over here. Let's just do uh, Aunt Jerry's. And then it'll be in, in the playlist. And you could have these playlists with music from your Apple, Apple Music, the stuff that's native on your iPad, and it could ha be in the same playlist as stuff from streaming services when you go over here to your playlist section. So, now, where are you going to get this music from? Well, there's a couple of options. Some are better, some are worse, some are more expensive, and some are less expensive. One way that DJs get a lot of great music for a reasonable price is through record pools. So there's various different websites where for a small monthly fee, you can download unlimited music. So one of them is called DJ City, and I think it's, um, let's see, I think it's $20 a month. Um, if you're a new member, it's only $10 a month. And then you can literally download as many songs as you want. So instead of paying like $1.50 or $2 for a song on Apple Music, which with this, if you get 20 songs, 30 songs, which you are because you need more songs to be a DJ, then for the small monthly fee, you can download as many songs as you want and you could DJ with them. And once you download them, they'll be in your Apple Music and your Apple Music is accessible right through here. But the thing is that make sure the iPad that you're using or, or even if you're going to do this on your phone, make sure you have enough memory because if you... If you don't have enough gigabytes, you're not going to be able to store the music. So if you're purchasing a new iPad or a new phone and you plan to DJ, keep that in mind because you don't want to run out of space for music. Also, if you get the iPad Pro with the USB-C port, you can actually, you, with an adapter, you could plug in uh, an external hard drive or a USB uh, storage device and you can have all your music on there. So most DJs that don't use streaming services are signed up to one of the record pools and that's what they do. When that's how they discover music and then they download it and then they keep it on USB, USB drives and then when they DJ, they could DJ with that. So another thing you guys could do if you're trying to save more money, you don't, you, you don't know if you're, if you're serious with this or you're just low on money and you don't wanna spend that much money, you could go um you could go on eBay, you could go on Facebook Marketplace and you could buy compilation CDs for very cheap. So, you know, it'll be like 90s dance party, 90s hits or 
dance hits from the 2000s, all these different types of mashup CDs, and then you can download them to your computer, and then you could put them on your iPad with Apple Music. So that's a very, uh, a lot of DJs started off like that. I've done this before, and it don't, with DJing, I like to think out of the, outside the box. So don't be afraid to think outside the box and actually buy physical CDs because you can get them at like the Goodwill or something for next to nothing, and then you have all these songs instead of paying them the dollar, dollar fifty on Apple Music. Another thing is you could just go to the music app and download it, but it's a little bit more expensive. You're gonna have to pay for each song. This I I do this when I want to download like one song that's not on any of the streaming services, but it's on Apple Apple Music. So I'll actually spend the money by the song. Or if I want to make like a remix, if I want to mix two songs together and make a remix and record it through the DJ Pro app itself, it won't let you hit this record button if you have two songs that are from streaming services. So the only way you could record is if you're using your own music. So then I'll actually spend the money, it'll cost me like $3 and I'll have both songs and I can make a mix with it. Another way that DJs get their music, but I would not recommend it, is through YouTube. They'll use different apps, um, some are legal, some are not legal, and they'll use different websites, and then you put the link for the YouTube video of the song that you want, and then you can download the, the audio from the video from the YouTube video for free, and then now you have that song for free. But this is a bad idea, one, because it's illegal, you're not allowed to play music that you got from YouTube while you're DJing, you're not allowed to use it in if you're recording mixes and stuff because of copyright issues. So, and then also, the only time you would want to do this is if you're just DJing at your house to practice and stuff, but the quality isn't going to be there. Different YouTube videos are in different volumes and different quality levels. So it's not going to, your songs are not going to be consistent at the same volume. They're not going to be consistent at the same quality. And some of these songs will have like intros. It'll be like a cinematic intro in the beginning of the song. And then when you play, if you, if you load that into a deck while you're DJing, it's going to play some weird intro. So I would stay away from this one altogether. So I would definitely recommend the compilation CDs. And I would recommend sign up for a record pool for a month or two, stock up on songs, and then then you're good. So thanks for watching. I make videos about DJing on the iPad and DJing with DJ Pro. I make a lot of videos every week, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.